friends uh, next type of quantizer after uh, uniform quantizer we discuss here that is adaptive quantizer so in this adaptive quantization it specifically refers to adjusting the decision it refers to adjusting the decision and the reconstruction levels reconstruction levels according to the local statistical local statistical prediction error as we already discuss about the error what is quantization error or noise in my previous video so to adjust those prediction error in case of decision boundary and in the reconstruction level it use a, uh, the quantization is used and which that quantization is known as adaptive quantization okay so since the quantization levels are scaled by the standard deviation of the prediction error so many ad adaptive quantization uh, schemes attempt to match this quantizer so we use a reasonable strategy which is used uh, which is used to estimate the variance variance of the prediction error prediction error on a block by block basis on a block by block basis so say this adaptive quantization is used to estimate the variance of the prediction error on a block by block basis means here we send the data in a block by block by block so hence the block by block adoption of the quantizer is used but this would requires so this adaptive quantization requires encoding and transmission of this variance of the prediction error okay so this requires encoding and transmission of variance of each block of each block as an overhead as an overhead information so this adaptive quantization sense uh, requires encoding and transmission of variance of each block as an overhead information which is transmitted to the receiver end so we in this we use an alternate strategy which use multiple model approach okay uh, where four scale lloyd max quantizer okay in this we use an alternative alternate strategy is the multiple model approach multiple model approach where four scaled scale lloyd max uh, sorry l l o y d lloyd max quantizer is used where four scale uh, four scale lloyd max quantizer are uniform reason second texture region third moderate edges moderate edges and the sharp edges respectively so in this we use an alternative strategy now they are assumed that that they uh, to be known they, that these uh, uh, strategy is known to both the encoder and the decoder side so in this we use this these four quantizer and where each block see here it's a block diagram of adaptive quantization here we have a input x there is a buffering statistical analysis we have these four quantizer at each block which is based on the variance of the block so we we select one of these four uh, quantizer uh, which is based on the variance of the block for example here the variance is 0.5 here the variance is 1 variance is 1.75 and variance is 2.5 so on the basis of these variance it select one of these quantizer at each block where we uh, use where we are using block by block basis so in this if we are using this multiple model scheme then the overhead information 
then the overhead information is reduced to is reduced to two bits per block. If you are using this uh, this for a multiple model scheme, okay. So this is the block diagram of the adaptive quantizer. Okay, first is that it refers to the it refers to adjust the diffusion boundary and the reconstruction level, which is which is according to the local statistical prediction error. Here we are using variance of the prediction error, which use block by block or sensor data block by block. Now here we are using an alternative strategy, which is called a multiple model approach, in which we use four scale Lloyd Max quantizer like this, and if we select one of these four quantizer, which is uh, at each block which is based on the variance of the block so this is how the adaptive quantization works now the block uh, along with the typical value of the variance of the prediction error assume for designing the each quantizer so this adaptive quantization refers to adjust the decision according to the local statistical of prediction error now this adaptive quantizer are uh, having two main approaches adaptive quantizer having two main approaches one is forward adaptive approach forward adaptive approach or this approach is also called as offline adaptive approach and the second approach is backward adaptive approach which is also called as online adaptive approach now we discuss these two type of approaches one by one so first we discuss forward adaptive approach so just see this block diagram for the forward adaptive approach in this we uh, in the forward adaptive approach or quantization the source output is divided into blocks block of data and each block is analyzed before the quantization and the quantization parameters. These quantization parameters are set accordingly. Now the set of setting of the quantizer are then transmitted to the receiver end as a side information. Okay. So if we, uh, if we have to explain this forward adaptive quantization, then the first point is that the source output, the source output is divided into block of data. into block of data second is that each block is analyzed each block is analyzed before quantization before quantization and the parameters and the quantization parameters are set accordingly quantizer parameters are set accordingly Okay, and then the setting, this setting, uh, these parameter of the quantizer, which we are set, the setting of the quantizer are then transmitted to the uh, receiver, uh, setting of the quantizer, setting of quantizer are then transmitted, are then transmitted to the receiver end. As a side information. Now, if we talk, the, if we say that the output, the source output, divided into block of data. Now, if we uh, have a one, if we have, we have a one issue about the size of this block. Suppose, if the size of the block is is too small. Okay, since this block of data, the size of this block of data is too small then the adaptation of the local statistical will be effective but the side information which needs to be sent more frequently means uh, more bits are used for sending the side information so if the size of the block is small then side information needs to be sent more frequently needs to be sent more frequently means it used more bits for sending the side information and second is if the size of the block is large then in that case the bits used for the side information decreases because there is uh, less uh, necessary 
to send the side information so the advantage is that that the bits used for side information decreases but the disadvantage is that the adaptation become less sensitive to changing statistics and both processing delay the disadvantage is that the processing delay and storage required increases in that in the case in which the size of the block is large so in practice we are a proper compromise between the quantity of the side information and effectiveness of adaptation produces a good selection of the block size so this is all about the forward or you can say offline and if you are uh, talk about or if we talk about the backward adaptive approach so this is the block diagram for back backward adaptive quantizer so here we have a input text quantizer encoding buffering and statistical and uh, analysis this is a transmitter side so this is the just a, uh, this block diagram it just in the is also available in the receiver side in this we are in, instead of encoding we are we have quantization decoder and for uh, particular output x we have a output y so in the backward uh, adaptive quantizer the adaptation is performed based on the quantizer output so it is this is available to both the transmitter and receiver there is no need to send any information so the main advantage is that there is no need to send any additional information to send any additional information to inform the receiver to inform the receiver about the adaptation okay because this is uh, available to both the transmitter and the receiver end okay so the adaptation process uh, for the backward adaptive approach we are using this block diagram i hope you understand the adaptive quantizer the different approaches what are its advantage and disadvantage okay so this is all about the adaptive quantizer and if you have any query then you can ask and if you like our video then please subscribe our channel and share it thanks for watching